What is the beggar's bowl? It's a place to talk about economics, which I do once a week. It's a subject that I feel like I could spend the rest of my life talking about and never tire of. And I think I intend to do that for the rest of my life, keep talking about it once a week. It's also a place to ask, in my own strange way, though it's a strange way to ask, I make these recordings, and then I file them all away chronologically, and they come out weeks, months later from when I recorded them. And so there's no way to really know, well rather there's no way to, if I have an, supposing I have an immediate need, nobody will know about it for weeks or months. <laughs> and that feels right in a way, because I'm trusting God with my daily needs. So as I record this today, I feel particularly abundant, though I know that's kind of an illusion based on the circumstances in my life at this particular time. And it's come, this abundance, through a series of rather miraculous events and um, foresight on God's part, not mine. <laughs> and I have a sense that it'll, it'll pass pretty soon. I don't know whether that this period will last um, weeks, months, something. You know, a couple weeks, couple months, maybe. And I'm real grateful that through a series of miracles and a series of divine insights and revelations, um, I don't know if those are words that you would normally use, just, you know, little promptings or, or thoughts and, you know, etc. The way has been provided for me to, to do the thing that is laid before me at the moment and um, and I have the bit of means that I need to do it and I'm so grateful and it's interesting to me that this episode probably won't be aired for oh goodness probably a couple months I'm guessing because I've been working hard to try to get two months ahead on all of these episodes so that when you hear this you'll think isn't that wonderful that Jonathan is he's well provided? And um, and my inclination right now is to say, you know, I'm I'm fine. You know, I have no immediate needs. Um, but this this the strange thing about this life, this new economy, is that it's like that perspective comes out of the fact that all of my basic needs are met for today and for the foreseeable immediate future. Not the long-term future, but the immediate future. But when this comes out, who knows? <laughs> and then I may make a couple of episodes and, uh, you know, I may, I may feel prompted or I, you know, I, if I'm just maybe honest about my situation, if I'm in a particular position where it's like, wow, you know, I, I, uh, I'm in a position where, yes, I've got food for today, um, but things are more tenuous, you know, I'm looking around myself, and, and I actually, I foresee actually a time like that coming in a couple of months, and, um, and, uh, and not knowing exactly how God's going to open up the doors um, to meet my needs at that point, Though I don't really feel concerned about it, I trust that he will. But at that time, I make some, may make some recordings expressing all of that. And, um, and then, they may not air for a couple weeks or a couple of months. So that at the time that you hear them, that particular immediate need may have already passed. And I find that really interesting, and I kind of like it this way, because it means that the only reason that, that um, you might contribute to this channel, this podcast, is because a voice other than mine may prompt you that it would be a good investment. 
and otherworldly investment. And it'll be interesting to see where it all goes, what it comes to. But I love this new world. I love this new world where we, we work, we put in time and effort, we produce content or whatever it is that we produce ahead of time, not with the eye that we're going to in, insist that somebody pay, you know, and to withhold it until they do, but that we make the things that we produce available as a gift. I love this. And then we trust that the divine that the benevolent source of all good things which sees from the unseen place has seen our efforts and our sacrifice and will bless us from day to day. And we leave out a hat, a jar that says tips or whatever you want to call it, because that is one more way that the divine can provide is through gratitude of somebody who's been benefited. But it's not the reason that we work. So curious to see where all of this will go. So that when you receive this, there's no way to really know. And I don't know that it really matters what my particular circumstance may be at the time that, that you hear this edition of The Beggar's Bowl. God directs God opens up the way, and we figure it out together. We play the new game and trust that a higher providence is directing in all.